Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to this little tutorial on how to play Come Down by Anderson Pack on the bass. This is a really, really cool, super funky bass line. Really, really fun to play. I'm gonna break this down into six sections. So section one, we have... So we've got first fret on the A string, third fret, fourth fret. So that's B flat, C and D flat. Then we have a little chromatic run on the D string. So first fret, second fret, third fret. So E flat, E and F. Then we go back to the first fret on the D string, the fourth fret on the A string, and the first fret on the A string. So that was E flat, D flat, and B flat. So all together that section. Okay, on to section two, we have this little um, kind of descending run through the strings. This is probably the hardest part, I would say, of the bass line. And we're gonna do this section um, three times throughout the actual bass line. So it goes like that. So you've got this B flat up here, third fret on the G string. You hit it three times like that. And then you hit this F here on the D string and then B flat first fret of the A string. So section three, we have just three notes like that. So we've got fourth fret on the D string, which is a G flat, and then third fret on the D string, which is an F, and then B flat first fret on the A string. So, and then we go back to section two. So section four is the same as section two, which is, that little run there. And then section five, we have, so fourth fret on the A string, which is D flat, third fret on the A string, C, and then we play the first fret on the low E string, which is F, back to the third fret on the A string, C, and then the first fret on the A string, B flat. So section five is, and then one last time we do section two, which is the same as section four, which is the same as section six, which is that. Right? So all together, we've got this. So the last note of the riff is B flat and the first note of the riff is B flat. So we actually kind of hit that B flat twice, but uh, if you think about it as one time ending the riff, one time starting it again. Um, so yeah, work on that, take it slow. Once you've got that sort of all the single notes and you're feeling confident with it and you're getting the timing and you're getting it kind of at, at full tempo, um, then I would suggest adding in some ghost notes and things, whatever kind of feels, feels good and is kind of tasty. So instead of just going, kind of go yeah so have some fun with it add those little ghost notes in just kind of makes it nice and spicy and cool yeah thanks for joining me on this video i hope that you learned something um i'll see you in the next one